Welcome back, everybody. It's Paul Maglev here, and we're off to the next episode. Uh, I'm recording this in a session, so I don't think that what I just said makes any relevance or sense to you. Mission objectives. Don't stop trains. Something I will definitely not be able to, uh, accomplish. <laughs> Dispatch at least ten additional trains. Avoid crashes. Oh god, I hate the fact that these two guys are so close to each other. It makes it impossible for me to make a curved loop. My radius is four blocks instead of three, so I can't get trains from in here straight into here. Do I have any trains that need to go places? Build mode! No, I'm gonna build it like this. Nope, not like that. Like this. Nope. There we go. You might be wondering, Paul, why are you taking this long convoluting route to build it? And I must assure you that there is a reason and a method to the mad madness. Yeah. You see, the reason is, Sometimes there's a building that spawns around here that supersedes the tracks. And I don't want to have to deal with that again. Because then my trains crash, and then chaos ensues, and then I lose. So I try to keep everything nice and open so I can see everything. Ah yes, one of the travesties of this level. This train is going to have to go all the way around. I think I'm going to build a shortcut here, not that I can afford it. That should do it. However, I'm on the verge of bankruptcy. Which is kind of strange because this is Communist Russia in 1964, so so shouldn't I be getting paid to do this instead of actually running this place like it's a private firm and going under? Just say it. There really shouldn't be a thing as bankruptcy in a control economy. Sure there. I'm not familiar with uh Command economics, or whatever it's called. Oh my god, this train is so slow! And it's carrying part of a rocket on uh, one of its uh, flat cars. We need to get that very precious cargo over to here as soon as we can. Fire the missile! speed things up? I guess we can. Not sure if it's going to be a good idea. Hopefully this train can pull out fast enough. Yeah, this one's really slow. That'll do it. Hmm, I'm thinking, what if I build something like this and something like this. No, I want to build something like this, thank you. Just gonna have to send the train over like this. Hopefully this works. Or at least remotely works. There we go. No! I crashed. Didn't mean to do that. And I'm bankrupt. Such is life. 
What's the first train gonna be? Okay. I'm gonna build up to here, and to here. Hopefully the trains aren't gonna be too fast. This should get me started. There we go. I'm sitting, I'm sitting, I'm sitting and waiting. Sitting on waiting for the end of the semester because then I'll have the summer break and then I will have summer school. <laughs> I was told it was a good idea to take summer school uh, for courses that I don't like. I'm not sure if that's a good idea in theory, but I will be sitting there. It won't be like a web seminar like the last time I did summer school because that did not end well. That definitely did not end well. Uh, also, I wanted to mention, at the end of May, there's going to be FanimeCon downtown at the uh, McHenry Convention Center. And I'm not sure if I'm going to go. Because the last time I went, I actually didn't get to spend as much quality time with friends as I thought I would. I was really looking forward to seeing some kids from a uh, high school that I know. Some of them are still in high school, by the way. Some of them are not, but it would be nice to see them all again together. But I know that not everything comes true. But you never know. Expect, uh, hope for the best, expect the worst. I suppose. Are you gonna go any faster? Buddy, you gonna go any faster? Screw it. Going too slow. Okay, I think that's enough. One of the new dynamics of this patch is that one of the locomotives in each patch, or each era, has one that's faster and then one that's slower. But only during a certain time period, with a certain prototype. I'm not entirely sure why that is. Let's see, we got this taken care of, this taken care of. Switch this track around. Loop it around so it reaches the red station. Hopefully I don't go bankrupt. And I already failed my first objective of not stopping trains. But that's okay, I could care less. What just happened? There was no reason for that train to crash there, in the station. Plasm.com, please. I still keep getting trains that spontaneously crash. Please fix this. Stop you here. Which is here, back you up, and that should be good to go. Place this here. You're probably wondering what I'm going to take for the summer session. I plan on taking English 1B because I tried to do that earlier during a previous summer session. The one that was online that I mentioned didn't go so well. And yeah, I certainly hope this time around it goes better because I'll actually go to class physically and be able to interact with the teacher and feel a sort of connection. 
I feel like the teacher students uh, connection is very important for facilitating learning. It's not the same when you do something online because you can get distracted easily. Everything's just uh, everything on the computer that I do. I could care less about, I guess. I kind of just lolly gag and get distracted too easily. Unless I'm writing a paper, in which case, uh, I'm like the complete opposite. But when it comes to more important things like a full semester of stuff within a summer, I think I just don't feel like it's just something I feel like doing. Uh going to go the way I want it to? No, it is not. There we go. Why do I feel like... Oh. I am mistaken. Looks like everything's doing good so far. Zip this train over to here. Hopefully this train beats this train. If it doesn't, I'm gonna be a little disappointed because I had timed it so that this one would come in and then this would come in. Wait, what are you doing? Don't go this way. Well, it looks like what I planned originally is going to come to fruition, though not in the way I expected. Or planned for. Send this train out this way. Send this train this way. Hypothetically, this should work. Yes. Yes, good. Good. And another train crashed. Uh oh. Wait, why does that keep happening? It keeps crashing in that station. It's cursed, I tell ya. It's cursed. Oh dear, it's one of the slow molasses trains carrying one of the last rocket boosters uh, for the missile over here that's been slowly building up during this level. Is it going to make it out in time for this train to pass through? Because it needs access. Oh dear. There we go. Hopefully this all works out. Please work out. Please work out. Please work out. Ugh. That train was longer than I suspected. And I can't add any more additional trains. Shoot. Mission launch sequence activated. Launch in three, two, one. We have liftoff. We have liftoff for the fatherland. And yeah, that's. I think that's gonna be. Is that gonna be it for this level? Uh, I have not done enough obligatory uh, Russian accents. Uh. I have not made my quota for that. I have, I swear, that is one of the jokes I have been saving for the longest time, and I didn't get the chance to use it a lot in any of these episodes. Maybe I'll record it again, but I don't feel like it. 
see. Loop you around like this. This is like one of the sandboxy levels, but not really, because this patch has a new sandbox mode where you can experiment with any configuration of track for free! As in, you don't invest any in-game cash. It kind of reminds me of Railway Valley 2, sort of, except there's cities and towns up here, and probably some that are going to be down here. Here. Oh, it's a slow train. Oh, even even slower train possibly. No, I was mistaken. And town D is popular again. Oh dear, I think this train is going to get caught by this train. Unless this train gets in the station in time, which it seems it has. So we're good! Everything is working as it should. And I think we're going to be doing the entire level starting from the early 1800s all the way up to 1980-something, I guess. 2000, maybe? No, the station's cropped itself up. We're going to have to make adjustments. But I didn't want to cut this tree down! Oh well. Will this train be able to beat this train? Let's not find out. Things are going very lucratively this time around. I don't have to worry about any of the other barriers that were in the previous maps, whether they be geographic or otherwise. Financial sometimes. The taxes are rising, I think. It used to be a thousand, now it's like 1,500. But no matter, I shall pay them. And I shall pay them in full. We shall do it for Bother Russia. Yes, there we go. More trains! Okay, I think that's a bit too many. I still have these trains in 1917. I thought it would have upgraded. It's about time we had a red October, my friends. Let's see, that should do. That should do. Yeah, this really feels like uh, Railway Valley 2 in terms of like the general strategy. How it kind of is a little freeform, but there are some constraints based on the topography that are almost non-existent. Let's see, add more trains! Add all the trains! Oh boy. That should do. All the tracks haven't been built yet, though. This 
strangely enough, I have not found myself in a situation where I need to use a carousel configuration. Where I have all the trains rotating in the same direction on the circuit track I have laid out. Add another train. Yeah, that's good. I think it's good. Any other trains? Yeah, that'll do. So this train passes by. There we go. I'm having trouble clicking on everything for some reason. Uh-oh. I feel like something didn't work like it was supposed to. I'm going to have to deconstruct this. Build up and out. Oh, this is looking so hideous right now. There we go. That looks very inappropriate. It looks like a butt. And for a second there, I thought I was going to say something worse. Stop! What are you doing? I didn't tell you to go that way. Or at least I didn't plan on it. Switch the tracks over. Dismantle this. There we go, I think we're back in full swing. So many stations! train, stop this train, back it up a bit. There we go. Yeah, that train didn't make it out in time like I was hoping. There we go. That's a close call. Hmm. I feel like I should have made a connection between here. Oh well, maybe next time when I'm experimenting. I live and learn, I guess. 1964. I gotta overload the system with trains if I want to get a high score. Speaking of which, why isn't my game connected to the international high scores? like the online web browser games uh, Railway Valley were like. Because Train Valley is basically just like a really nice version of uh, Train Valley. I mean, Railway Valley. It's made by the same people. Good. 
Excellent. Nope, I don't want it to go in there. Dang it. Stop! There we go. February 1976. November 1976. Okay. There we go. And that is pretty much all there is to uh, patch 0.7.4, which is the alpha version, uh, mind you. But there are some other nice novelties that they added to the game. Uh, the trains in here are specialized, so they're based in North America. Or at least it's based on prototypes from North America. Here they're based on prototypes from uh, Russia and the former Soviet Union. And all the primary levels that we started the game out with, which are based in Holland, I think, are uh, equipped with locomotives that are available uh, during those time periods. Uh, so the trains are relevant to the era. I wanted to show you the models of them, because I should be able to, hypothetically, this isn't actually like another free bonus level that I'm playing. I'm just here to show you the new prototypes they have for the Netherlands. Ah oh, no! They changed the map so there isn't a caldera up here. With a little caldera lake in it. And it's got the cute timesy music too. Oh. I thought I'd see one of the uh, prototypes I was thinking of saying. I was mistaken. I'll find it. Here it is. No, that is not it. I'll find it. I'll find it. I will find it. And if I do not find it, I will find footage of it. Or rather, I will conjure it. This isn't working out like I expected. Uh, quit. I think I'll be able to show you what they look like in this level. All the textures are more refined in this patch. Okay, that should do it. So we've got our basic template locomotive, which is used in all of the uh, continents. But we do have another prototype that's Solely part of the Central European area. We'll find it eventually. Hmm, this is not going like I expected. There it is. It's a four. It's a four two two. Technically a. Technically a. T uh, blah. Technically a sterling single. At least it would be in the United Kingdom, but obviously this is uh it's northwestern Europe technically because it does have Stonehenge like structures and I am crashing all the trains in the world. But I got to show you the prototype that I wanted to show you guys. I think there was another prototype available, but I'll try to secure footage of it at some point. Hopefully, maybe in the next five seconds, please. Well, that's a long little train. Hopefully I don't screw this up. No, it's still too expensive. Bankruptcy! Oh, and the cars were flying everywhere. That's new. Oh. 
Looks like my recording on my camera has stopped. Uh, I guess I'll wrap it up. I'll see you guys next time, and until then, uh, take it easy. <laughs>